Hello everybody, welcome to 2015. 2015's a brand new year. And obviously for me personally, I want to sum up what happened with 2014. Now, as you guys well know, I previously before 2014, I was kind of touch and go with games. I like I recorded some, I stopped recording some, I took a long hiatus on recording stuff, then I restarted recording. Uh, 2013 wasn't the greatest year for my channel because I just didn't record enough. Uh, but 2014, I changed all that, and I actually decided to. I didn't make a New Year's re uh, resolution. I just decided on my own and say, you know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buckle down. And I'm just gonna record something. It doesn't matter if it's new. It doesn't matter if it's a, it's a new game, old game. It doesn't matter if it gets any views or not. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm still gonna put ads on it because it's part of my channel. But because <clears throat> I put time and effort into recording them, but I'm not. I'm not gonna really complain too much if it doesn't get any views and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna. Put the stuff out there, and if people want to watch it, they can watch it. They don't, they don't, you know. And I, I felt I did a good job in 2014 doing it. Now, here's the things I've done so far in <clears throat> 2014 uh, in terms of videos. Now, this is the, as you guys can see right here, it's pretty much games I started and completed in 2014. Keep in mind, Dark Souls 1 and Crisis 2 are technically not games I started in 2014. If you guys remember, I actually started Crisis 2, I believe, uh, October 29th, no, October 31st or 30th, 2013. It was like the day after my birthday. Or, yeah, it was the day after my birthday because there was cake there and I wanted to record. Uh, so that was Crisis 2. Dark Souls 1 I actually started to record back in uh, June 2013. And then I record, or it was July 2013. It was one of those two months and I started recording it. And I had 17 videos up of that. I progressively put it up there and I, I think the last video I, I uploaded was like September. <clears throat> and... And it took me several months to get right back into Dark Souls 1. Mainly because I actually wanted to do Dark Souls 1 playthrough because Dark Souls 2 was coming out. And then I realized back in like, what's like January, like, oh shit, Dark Souls 2 is coming out in a couple months. Fuck, I have to get going. So, uh, with that being said, of course, I had a long way to go with Dark Souls 1. I only beat the, uh, I think I only beat the, uh, um... I, I, I beat the Gaping Dragon, but I never went to the the, the Blight Town or any of the other stuff. So I had to actually go through the whole sh uh, sh shebang, whatever you want to call it, the whole kit and caboodle of that of that game in order for me to complete it. And that took me several months, and I completed it around like April. Keep in mind, though, I actually purchased Dark Souls Two while I wasn't even finished with Dark Souls One yet. So as soon as Dark Souls One finished, I immediately kind of jumped into Dark Souls Two. So that was when I kind of finished, started, and completed in 2014. Now, keep in mind, Kingdom Hearts 1, I started in 2014. I didn't complete it. This is, it's kind of like end or. I didn't put the or in there because I thought maybe you guys will understand what I'm saying. But the end or in this case would be, I started Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. I'm almost finished with that game. If you guys remember, I'm far, uh, part 58. All I have to do is go into the last world and beat, um the boss and that's pretty much it like I, i'm really into end game stuff right now it's just i'm i haven't really gotten back to it in a while <clears throat> and i wanted to level up some more before i go and attempt that because i have a feeling that i'm gonna get my ass raped hard with no lubrication on my rear end if i go in there now with my level 54 55 character i need to like i need to level up to like 70 or something so that's like 16 levels right there so, and i want to get some other weapons too like wizard relics and some other gems maybe do some more synthesizing and stuff so <clears throat> that's that now castlevania castlevania i think based on my save i only have 18 percent into the game so <laughs> so i need to heavily invest in castlevania so that's kind of castle that's kind of the 2014 in a nutshell i mean i'm, I'm still doing fallout 3 of course so that's that wasn't started in 2014 and i Probably should have left that in anyway, but that's pretty much 2014. Now, I have a list of games I want to try to do on 2015. Now, this list is like, it's a lot more, and I'll explain a lot. I'll explain what I want to do with 2015. So, let's jump into the photo that I'm talking about. Let me just remove this. Games I'm looking to do in 2015. That doesn't mean I'm going to be able to get a chance to do it. This is what I'm looking to do now. As you guys can see, Fallout New Vegas. After Fallout 3 finishes, which I'm at my um, 
pretty much at like 65% into the game at this point. Um, I'm currently halfway done with Operation Anchorage, although I'm running into freezing problems, which may prolong the series even more, um, unfortunately. The less play rather than a series, but yeah. Uh, so I am looking, trying to do Fallout New Vegas, because I heard, I heard some rumor that there's going to be Fallout 4 news coming in a couple months in like 2015 maybe in April or something so I'm looking to I'm really getting amped I want to know what they talk about with Fallout 4 and I I really hope graphically the world is so much larger and hopefully they do a brand new engine not that Gamebryo shit hybrid engine I really hope they really fix the bugs and shit oh and of course I really want is uh <laughs> I, what I really want is console commands for the PS4 because I think that's really necessary. But that's Fallout New Vegas here. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. After Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix completes. I do have. I do want to get Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix. And play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. There's no rush on that. Because they, they, these games are old. So I'm not really rushing to beat these two games. Uh, in particular. Now this is the big one. Bloodborne. This is a brand new game. That is from the creator of Dark Souls. Mi uh, Miyazaki uh, he created Demon Souls and Dark Souls and this is supposedly a Demon Souls spiritual successor despite the fact that Dark Souls 1 was fabled or labeled according to him as Demon Souls spiritual successor so I don't know what the f what the hell he's talking uh, st uh, what the I don't even know what the what he's trying to say with that I'm sorry I'm I'm stumbling with words here, but yeah, it is kind of weird, but I'm really itching to play this game because it, there is no, I can't use a shield in this game. Your other arm has a shotgun, and your other, and, the, and your, your left arm has a shotgun, I believe, and your right arm has a sword that can change forms or some shit, like, it's gonna be intense, there's gonna be 20 plus enemies on screen at once, coming to kick your ass, it's gonna be crazy, I, the deaths are gonna be flying, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be annoyed, but I'm gonna be fucking excited, cause you know what, Dark Souls and Bloodborne is probably the only games, well, Demon Souls too, cause I haven't got a chance to record that either, um, it's the only games I actually love dying. It's kind of weird. It's like I don't like dying in any other game, but this is the type of games where it kind of feels like it's. It almost feels as if dying has its own reward system in these games. Like if you die enough, you might be able to pick up on something. It's like wait a second, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Right? Maybe I should try something else. And it really focuses you to really think outside the box. Of course. Uh, some things are a little more obvious than others, but uh, I'm actually looking forward to Bloodborne. I love Dark Souls 2. I thought that I thought that was the better game in the series. Um, it, um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I, I love it. I think it's way better than Dark Souls 1 for me personally. Uh, okay, for number four. See, this is the this is the game I'm talking about. Uh, Batman games. As you guys will know, back in 2013, I believe in May, I made a, a video poll. Well, I made a video discussing about the poll, and I linked it towards the video, asking people what they would like to see. And six out of six said Batman Arkham City. Or well, six votes said Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. Now, I didn't. I wanted to record it back then, but the problem was I. Uh, the thing was, I was still using the Hop Hog, and it's a little pain in the ass to record with the Hop Hog because you have to render the videos out, and you know, and it takes a, like an hour or so for it to render, and it was just a pain in the ass. The setup I have right now, thanks to Goat the Great and Industrial Gamer, uh, the Elgato is so much easier. Like it, you don't understand how much easier it is to me for, for me to do this. Okay, so. Number four, Batman games. Okay, I want to get so with with the Batman games, I want to I can actually record individual videos, twenty to forty minutes long. Um, I can record for a couple of hours, then I can upload those videos every few days since they're a little longer, and you guys get like the full Batman experience from me, because I because uh, in the first one I'm gonna be playing on hard difficulty, and then probably on the Arkham City I'm gonna actually play on normal because. Um, I want to experience that game, and I want to play it on hard because I have I never played Arkham City before. It's been lying in my games to playlist for for almost two to three years. Um, that and I want to get Origins as well. I want to try Origins because Batman Arkham Knight's coming soon. You know, so I know it's kind of weird for me playing Bat the older Batman games instead of Arkham Knight. I mean, if I can get Arkham Knight, I'll play that. I don't care, but. Oh, uh, but that being said, I didn't list it on here, but there is another thing I was thinking. As I was just talking about Batman games, 
Dragon Age is a perfect example of another series that I have Dragon Age Origins, I have Dragon Age Awakening, I have Dragon Age 2, even though a lot of people don't like Dragon Age 2, because uh, uh, they you've used a lot of the same dungeon textures, and was, was this a rush job? <clears throat> Dragon Age Inquisition is out, and I really want to play that game. I think Dragon Age Inquisition, for what I've been told from my cousin since he bought the PS3 version of the PS4, it's insanely awesome. It, it, it's like they mixed The Witcher with, with Skyrim. Like, it's so open world. There's It's not linear anymore. You can just roam around the world doing whatever. Fighting enemies, kicking dark spot. Now, if it's if it's something like I think it is, like if the enemies constantly reappear after time, roaming around the world, like uh, dark spawn or maybe raiders or kunaris and stuff like that. Oh shit, man! You, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I would fucking get a massive heart on and go fanboy style and jizz. I, I'm, I'm. This is serious now because you know that is the type of thing I felt that Dragon Age was missing. You look at all the, f the first couple of games, uh, including No Awakening is actually an expansion, but it ha it's kind of its own game in its own right. You know, it, it was lacking depth. It was lacking open world, constant enemy respawns. Like it was lacking the, like really, if you were in Pharrell, then you would know there'll be tons of enemies coming after you, thieves, darkspawn, and all this stuff. Like even after you beat them, they will just remigrate there anyway. So that's why I feel like it's been missing those type of games. And if they if they have if it has it in that game, oh, it will be the greatest Dragon Age game ever. Period. And I'm looking forward to playing that game. That game looks hot. Uh, I didn't put it on there as well, but full uh, not full uh, Far Cry 4 is something I want to do too. I may want to. I'm probably just gonna record full, uh, Far Cry 4 in the PS4 version at some point. I'm. It's not a big rush because I mean, as much as I want to play it, there's no continuity between the the three games, the four games rather. So it's kind of like, eh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Now five, I said this before, I wanted to get, I wanted to play the DLC and continue Dark Souls two. I stopped doing it in June, and I haven't gotten around to getting the DLC. Now they have the season pass and a place in the network, and I'm thinking about maybe somewhere in May. Or April, I might have enough money to get the DLCs and start doing the the, the the trilogy DLC. Now, keep in mind, there is a PS4 version of Dark Souls 2: Scholar of the First Sin coming out on PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PS4. I am looking at some point to get the PS4 version of Dark Souls 2: Dark Souls 2: Scholar of the First Sin, the PS4 version, because it's gonna have higher the texture is going to be higher. The graphics is going to be way better. Um, it's going to have a little more people online. And I can just replay the game again. It's going to be freaking cool. Uh, now, I don't know if I'm going to do an LP of it this time. I may actually keep it on the stream. Again, I don't know. I have to really test streaming. I haven't really done that at all um, since getting this set up. So that will be something you guys want to be uh, want to check out. Uh, number six. Now, this is a possibility. There's no guarantee if I'm going to be able to do any of this stuff as much as I would like. I mean, you're looking at an incredible amount of stuff I need to upload onto my channel, but possibility of Grand Theft Auto 5 PS4 version playthrough. Now, now, now I want to mention everyone right now who's watching these videos. The fact is, I am going to be getting the PS3 version digitally of uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, here's the thing. I know people say, why are you going to get the PS3 version if you have the PS4 version? Well, first off, I want the PS3 version because I want to experience the game what it was like when it first came out. You know, because I'm one of those type of guys who like to experience the game originally. Then, if there's a updated, re-release HD three touch up, I I want I want to get that game and see how it looks. Now, since I already had Grand Theft Auto Five because of the PS4 bundle, I don't have to worry about that. I can just just jump into and, pl and jump into it and play like that. Now, the only reason why I want to get the PS3 version digitally is because it comes with the bundle. It's ending in a couple days. The Great White. The Great White Shark cash card. Now, now that cash card is incredibly expensive. That bundle with GTA 5 with the cash card is pretty much, I want to say, $79 on the PlayStation Network digitally. Uh, the reason why is because the the cash card is $20 by itself. Because you're technically paying $20 for $1.25 million money to be spent between the, the multiplayer and the single player. So... If you think about it, I was like, oh my god, that's a lot. Now, I don't know exactly. Um, I'm thinking half a one, two, five. I'm don't know, but I'm thinking it's seven fifty or seven. 
uh, I'm trying to calculate calculate in my head right now, and this is not happening right now. Uh, let me see. 25, 2050, that'll be one. No, no, that'll be 500. So, all right, so it's like split. Um, I can't. I can't really cut it in half, but pretty much you get a lot of money for single player multiplayer with this deal. And quite frankly, it's twenty eight bucks on the PlayStation Network for both of those things. Come on now, it's a steal. It's ending soon. The holiday season's ending. I already got. Oh, speaking of which, I already got a game. Um, I already got Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. I actually played the multiplayer. The multiplayer is pretty fun. It still feels like Call of Duty, but I think Sledgehammer Games did a great job adding some other new pieces to make it unique like the uh the exoskeleton and the boosting and on multiplayer really kind of changes the game slightly it still feels like call of duty but at the exact same time it has its own unique feel to it that's different from black ops 2 and call of duty modern warfare series so so that's that so i'm probably gonna be playing the ps3 version a little bit for the storyline a little bit or just roaming around the world to see how how it looks you know it's get a full understanding how the mechanics work and all that stuff then i might even jump into the ps3 uh, the ps4 version so that'll be something to look forward to now continuation of my castlevania series as you guys know i'm doing castlevania and uh it's been it's been taking a while i think i think i'm just going to start focusing more into castlevania now because i'm actually at the point with fallout 3 where i'm actually close to the end um well, not too close to the end, rather. I'm actually clo well. I'm closer to the end now than I was four months ago. So I'm gonna have to continue Castlevania series. I'm gonna have to uh, <clears throat> progress forward. I'm only 18% in, and quite frankly, I still have Mirrors of Fate. And I still need to buy Castlevania: Lords of Shadow 2, which is a completely different game. And for some reason, the guy in the second game is a vampire. So it's completely it. I kind of messed up on. The whole concept of Castlevania Lords of Death Shadow. I thought you were actually a vampire, but you're not. That'll be the second game, I guess. I can see how that works. Now, the eighth is something I'm probably going to do sparingly, but not as much. I, as you guys can see by eight, because you guys were reading this while I was talking. Reboot the playthrough Let's Play Adventures of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Now, here's the thing. I want to do. I want to redo both of those, but I don't know whether I should just pick a new character or not. I may have to. Well, I may want to do that at some point. Just reboot it, make a brand new let's play of both those games, and fully dive, fully, um, fully put myself in there and record it. Now that would mean I would have to record every different. That would mean I would have to record both those games separately and probably fully dealt myself into the whole games. Now, I love Skyrim and Oblivion I do like a lot, but there's a couple things with Oblivion I'm not too fond of. Um, there's other things I like in Oblivion that they don't have in Skyrim, so they kind of they have their pros and cons, but uh, Skyrim for me is the better package graphics wise and the whole feel and don't get me started with Dawnguard. Dawnguard is the greatest DLC ever. I don't want to hear from any fanboys. Dawnguard is one of the best DLCs out there. I think it's way better than Dragonborn. Now, in terms of Oblivion with the Knights of the Nine and the Shivering Isles, I wasn't too fond with the, the storyline of Shivering Isles because it kind of felt like uh, Dragonborn. You do all this stuff and help the... a Dragic Lord, and all of a sudden you have to you have to become his puppet. <clears throat> well, in the latter speaking, in Oblivion you end up becoming him and supposedly you see this this, this this is the type of storylines i'm not really fond of but not, not 979 i'm not gonna lie it's actually a pretty decent uh um it's a pretty decent um dlc so that's kind of what i'm gonna be do looking forward to for 2015 guys um uh, that's kind of it. I don't know if I'm going to be doing every single one of these games immediately. Or I'm going to finish every single game immediately. But that is that is quite a bit of games I would like to do. Like I said, if you add you know, the Dragon Age video, the games, the Far Cry games, the Oblivion and Skyrim. You're looking at almost like 12 games I want to record on my channel. 
Um, again, full out New Vegas. I, I'm not. I don't have to completely beat New Vegas immediately before I start Fallout 4 if it ever releases within the time I'm still doing Fallout New Vegas. But I think Fallout New Vegas. I'm gonna record a couple of hours. Um, I'm probably gonna record those over the weekend and then focus some of these uh, some of the stuff in the in the week to really space it out because New Vegas I'm not really gonna be pushing hard to complete. Fallout Three I wanted to complete because it's the better game for me story wise and I'm actually pretty close. So and Kingdom Hearts Final Mix I love Final Mix. I thought Kingdom Hearts One Final Mix the improvements and the changes are really cool actually. Enemies are fucking tough in New Vegas and not New Vegas tough in Final Mix in Kingdom Hearts like. Man, I, I'm I don't remember Proud Mode being that difficult, but it, but it has been for me, so that'll be pretty neat. And Kingdom Hearts 2, yes, I will be doing Proud Mode as well on Kingdom Hearts 2, so you guys will be catching that as well. Like I said, Bloodborne, Batman games, all this stuff. This is the type of stuff I want to start doing at some point, especially the Batman games. So I hope you guys enjoyed this channel update. It was a pretty long update. Um, I hope everyone has a great uh, I hope everyone had a great New Year's. I hope for your 2015 New Year's, it's um. It goes well for you. Um, I'm just hope. I'm just hoping and praying that I don't fucking get killed or die or something from some cardiac arrest or some shit. Cause I'll be honest, I I, I haven't been feeling all too well lately. <clears throat> Getting some random chest pains here and there. Uh, I went to the doctor. The blood work was fine, but they claimed I had a, a leaky valve for my. I guess my heart would be. I don't know. But it's, it's terrible. I don't know if that's a bad thing. But I, I just hope nothing terrible happens to me in 2015. Because that just sucks. But uh, yeah, you know, that's 2015 for me. Uh, there's other games obviously coming out in 2015. I'm looking to do rumored, rumored Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out as well. I don't know about that. Uh, I think that's coming out like maybe late 2016. Uh, there's rumors of Uncharted 4 coming out. So... Maybe I'll do like a quickie Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 uh, live streams. You guys can catch up on the live streams. E e the past broadcasts and stuff. And you guys can just enjoy it. I'm not going to... Um, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. I can maybe live stream for three hours of uh, Uncharted on each one of those games. Replay the games again. And then right before Uncharted 4 releases, you guys can jump in. Because you guys already know I already did Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. There's no reason for me to redo a playthrough on that. So if you guys want to check my Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 playthroughs, you can check it out on my YouTube channels. There's some of my better uh, playthroughs, I think, Uncharted 3 especially. And uh, there's other games coming out in 2015 that I would like to play. But again, a lot of these games I really have to buy. Like the DLCs are cheap. The, the DLC is cheap here. I already have Oblivion Skyrim, so that's not really an issue. I already have the Castlevania, two of the Castlevania games, so that's fine. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS3 version, I do have to buy. The Batman games, I have two of them already. Bloodborne, I have to repurchase. New Vegas and Fallout. No. Uh, New Vegas and Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix. I would have to buy. But outside of that, I mean, it's... I mean, I, I'm still going to continue on with the game. I'm still going to continue with the games I already currently have. Like Fallout 3, I need to finish. King, uh, Final Mix on Kingdom Hearts, I still need to get back into. Batman games, I may start that at some point. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS4 version, I might, might start it in 2015. There's no guarantees because it's a very long game. Uh, Continuation of Castlevania, I'm definitely going to be doing that. Reboot of Oblivion Skyrim, I will probably try doing that as well. Um, and yeah, no, that's pretty much it. So I like, I think everyone who's been sticking around watching games I'm looking to do in 2015, channel update, games I'm looking, uh, games already started and completed back in 2014, and... 2015 is going to be the year of the gaming, uh, the gaming. I'm sure because 2015 has a lot of great games coming out for the PS4. I think everyone's excited about, them, especially um, Bloodborne, especially possibilities of Uncharted, Uncharted 4. You know, Batman: Arkham Knight. You know, you're looking at a lot of. Um, I want to say something else. Uh, I know, I know, there's, I know, there's going to be bringing games back like. Dark Souls 2, Scarlet the First Sin for the PS4 version, the better version. There's going to be a definitive version of the new Devil May Cry and a special edition to Devil May Cry 4. Like It's really jam-packed with a lot of cool stuff. And Ultra Street Fighter 4 coming onto a PS4. That would be pretty sweet. I would probably, I want to try to get that too. So there's going to be a lot of games coming out. A lot of things I would like to try to get. Uh, so anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, channel update and stay tuned for more gameplay.
Peace.